Oh hello guys, today in this short video I'm gonna try and show you how to install the power wine for your terminal. So let's get started. First I'm gonna use Arch Linux for the installation. Well, I'm using Arch on my main machine of course. Plus it's so much easier with Arch. So let's begin. First you need two packages to be installed and those packages are power wine and power wine fonts and that was pretty damn quick isn't it if you have a software manager for Arch, like let's say Pamac, you can use Pamac too. It's so much easier. I just prefer to start using the terminal much more than before. Okay, the next thing you need to do is you have to navigate to your .bashrc file, which is located. Let me show you a little quick. So I have my dot files being shown all the time you can do that with control x on your home folder and this this is the file you need you have to just open it with your text editor i'm gonna use the mouse pad and it's opening on the other space Okay, so this is what is the default bash rc, I guess, on Arch. All you need to do is paste one a uh, couple of lines. So don't worry about it. I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna leave everything you need and everything I use in this video in the comments below or in the description of this video. So you don't have to pause the video you have to just go to the information section and just copy and paste it if you want so anyway this is all you have to do just save it close it and you should be ready to go but before I'm gonna show you how to navigate to this file through the terminal because well like I said I'm trying to use the terminal much more than before so just I'm gonna use nano for this because I'm not a Vim professional yet uh, so nano dot bashrc and as you can see this is our bashrc with already saved everything we need for the power line okay so now what we need to do is just log out and log in and we should have the power line on our terminal so let's see i'll come back after the log out okay and we are back after the log out if you really want to you can even reboot but i don't think it's really necessary so let's see what we did just open the terminal a little quick oh yeah there you go this is the power line it's really a basic one you can really further customize it the way you want but this is just the information how to do it just the basics so if you want a little more information about it just let me know in the comment section down below and I'll see what I can do about it okay guys this was I'm gonna end up the video here this was just a pretty quick and easy video how to do a how to install the power line for your terminal so let me know what you think about this video and I'll see you in the next one bye